Have you ever pondered the significance of prophecies in shaping the course of history and influencing the beliefs of millions? Today we delve into the intriguing concept of Ghazavatul Hind, a topic that has stirred ongoing discussions in Islamic circles. Ghazavatul Hind, translated as the Armageddon in India, is an idea deeply rooted in Islamic eschatology. It refers to a prophesied armed campaign in India, and its origins can be traced back to the prophecies of Hazrat Niamatullah Shah Wali, a revered Islamic scholar. The term Ghazavatul Hind, in essence, predicts a significant Muslim victory and dominance in India. This narrative, however, is not as straightforward as it seems. It is interwoven with the emergence of Imam Mahdi, a prophetic figure in Islamic belief, who is destined to lead the forces of righteousness against the forces of evil, embodied by the figure of Dajjal. This prophecy, while deeply ingrained in certain Islamic narratives, has been the subject of much debate and analysis over the centuries. Skeptics and scholars alike have questioned whether historical campaigns in India meet the criteria of Ghazavatul Hind, primarily due to the fact that these campaigns did not result in the total destruction of non-believers, a key aspect of the prophecy. Now having traced the origins and development of Ghazavatul Hind, let us recap the main points we've discussed. Ghazavatul Hind is a prophecy rooted in Islamic eschatology, predicting a major Muslim victory in India. This concept is deeply intertwined with the emergence of Imam Mahdi and the defeat of Dajjal, representing the eternal battle between good and evil. However, the interpretation and fulfillment of this prophecy have been subjects of debate, with some questioning the validity of past campaigns as true instances of Ghazavatul Hind. The prophecy continues to be a topic of robust discussion within Islamic circles. In the grand tapestry of history and belief, Ghazavatul Hind stands as a testament to the enduring power of prophecy and the profound impact it can have on shaping our understanding of the world. It invites us to engage in thoughtful discourse, to question, to analyze and to explore the depths of our beliefs. So as we conclude our discussion today, I leave you with this thought. In the realm of faith and belief, nothing is ever simply black and white. There are always shades of gray, waiting to be explored and understood. And it is through this exploration that we truly begin to appreciate the complexities and nuances of our beliefs. Thank you for joining me on this insightful journey into Ghazavatul Hind, a topic that continues to captivate the minds of scholars and laymen alike.